Yo guys, Mike for Sim Racing 604, and this is my Porsche 911 GT3 Cup display unit from Grid by Sim Lab, and it might just be the most over-the-top piece of Sim gear I own. I'm super excited to try this out, so today I'm going to unbox it and review it. All right, so as mentioned, this is going to be my review of the Porsche 911 GT3 Cup display unit from Grid by Sim Lab. And I'll start the video off just with, with a thank you to Grid by Sim Lab for sending me this unit free of charge. Uh, no money was exchanged, and um, I don't have any affiliate links, so I'll try to keep this review as objective as possible, as always. Uh, but this unit was sent to me free of charge. So what is it? Well, it's a display and I say that it might be the most over the top piece of sim gear I own and that's really saying something. I've been fortunate uh, in recent years, thanks to the support of viewers like yourself, to be able to get my hands on some pretty awesome sim gear from telemetry software that is used by pros to uh, racing wheels with displays laid in them um, to motion simulators but this one might take the cake for the most over the top so it's a dash display that's going to sit on top of your wheel base and uh, give you all the in-game telemetry and any other data you might want via sim hub dashes and there are some things that make it really unique but i'll get to that for a second the reason i say it's over the top specifically is because of a, a few things well, first of all, um, most people for in-game telemetry and race position, timing, etc., will just use the in-game HUD. And people who aren't satisfied with that will generally get Sim Hub and then do some sort of overlay. If that's still not good enough for you, you might get an old phone or an old tablet and something to hold it and put it beside your rig. Or you might use a second screen for the same thing and just broadcast Sim Hub. But if that's not even good enough for you, you, you might get an external specialized display, something like the Moza one that I reviewed on this channel. And if that is not good enough for you, there is this. This is sort of uh, race telemetry, uh, race data, timing taken to the extreme. It's a 10.3 inch display, which is massive. Most of what you'll see on the market is four or five inch. Uh, this one also has a resolution of 1920 by... Yes, 1920 by 720 uh, connects via HDMI and USB. So I should mention right now that it's PC only and it's also licensed by Porsche. It's automotive grade in its housing. I mean, this thing is extreme. It's over the top. As I say, there's a few steps you have to go through before you get to wanting even some external screen. But if you want that external dedicated screen specifically for race data, I mean, this is the extreme version of that. So um, it comes in with a price of 599 euro. So pretty big money. So I'm going to get this unboxed shortly and we'll talk about what might make this worth the purchase price because it is more expensive than most of the units you will see and of course more expensive than getting um you know a, an old tablet or a phone and getting some holder to put it off to the side and certainly more expensive than just using sim hub as an overlay or you know in-game heads up display so is it worth it well, we'll find out so uh i'm gonna get it unboxed like i said we'll talk about what's in the box and then of course i will mount it drive it and then we'll conclude the video with my final thoughts all right so time to unbox i'm very excited i have to admit slowly slowly building the suspense have a little quick start guide here which Frankly, I'm a little bit disappointed in. I was hoping it would be a proper booklet uh, for this level of pricing, but uh, whatever. Uh, simple quick start guide shows you kind of how to get up and running. Um, HDMI port, power port, and USB port are shown on this page, as well as sort of generally how to connect it to various wheelbases. And there it is. Ooh. And my goodness, <laughs> first thing you notice is that it is huge. 
<laughs> 10.3 inches until you see it until you hold it you don't realize how big it is this thing is massive i saw will from boosted media review the same unit and next to his triple 65 inch screens it's tough to get perspective on just how large this is but i mean <laughs> this thing is huge and again 1920 by uh 720 on the display um nothing much to mention on the housing here there's a little port right there which i understand is for infrared because there was a remote control that comes with the unit and then if we look at the bottom you can see uh, HDMI power and USB connection so that's it you got the big Porsche across the top you got uh, 24 LEDs on the outside of your screen and again that automotive grade housing so this is uh, built tough built to last and then on the back it does say grid which is uh, the sort of specialty brand within SimLab and then it's got some vents here to uh, help keep it cool so I will carefully put this off to the side and we'll see what else came in the box this, I would guess, is going to be the power supply. And look at me go. It's like I've done these before. All right, so here we have uh, just a simple power cable. Uh, let's see what the rating is. You guys probably don't care. Uh, output 12 volt, 3 amp, 36 watt. And uh, there are various plugins here, depending on which part of the world you're in. Uh, you can adapt it to your local power uh, outlet type. Also in the box, USB cable. So nothing really fancy there. The only thing I guess of note is that it is a 90 degree connector. So we're going to come off the bottom. Are we? We are, right? Yes. We're going to come off the bottom of the display without having cables drooping down too far. It just cuts over to the side right away with that 90 degree connector noise and will from boosted media made some excellent points as he always does uh talking about uh the the uh ports on your video card you got to make sure you have enough because this does connect via hdmi for me i'm running triple screens i have the three display port uh ports taken up on my video card so it's a matter of uh using that unused uh, hdmi port but there's questions as to or it's worth questioning whether or not your video card can handle that because not all of them can so make sure you can use all four simultaneously frankly i haven't tested mine so i'm hoping for the best here but if you guys are seeing this video <laughs> that means it works all right hdmi cable here braided which i love I love uh, when companies send good quality cables with their unit, and it looks like SimLab has done that here. And again, a 90 degree connector coming off the HDMI on one side, and then the other side, of course, will plug in to my computer. We have bolts to get this all set. We also have, as I mentioned earlier, a little remote control, and we can adjust some of the uh, screen settings. Um, Actually, on 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 the uh, we can adjust brightness and backlight and things like that using this remote control. And finally, in the box, two uh, carbon fiber adapters here. I'm hoping one of these fits my Fanatec uh, CSL DD. Really hoping. And then. Um, yeah, it looks like what it looks like is you'll be able to set those bolts in here, attach it to your wheelbase, and then the screen will go on these posts here. And it looks like we'll have height adjustment at that point. So, um, yeah, yeah, kind of cool. So that is it. That is it. But, uh, of course, the star of this show is this massive... <laughs> 10.3 screen again uh it's hard to give perspective on this but i think once you see it on my csl dd um it'll <laughs> you'll get a better appreciation for just how big this thing is but uh very cool so so far so good um everything on the uh Porsche 911 GT3 Cup display unit seems like it's in line with what I expected. It feels high quality. Um, yeah, again, a, a nicer booklet would have been cool. But uh, yeah, overall, the good first impressions from this uh, unit. So uh, next up, of course, I'm going to get it mounted and drive with it and uh, then share my impressions. So just before we get on track with the Porsche 911 GT3 Cup display panel, let's talk about some of the specs of this display. The Grid by SimLab Porsche 911 GT3 Cup display panel is for use on PC only. Its display housing is motorsport grade and is designed to emulate the real world in-dash display of the actual Porsche 992 Cup car. 
This product is even officially licensed by Porsche and it features a 10.3 inch display with a 60 hertz refresh rate and a 1920 by 720 resolution with 24 bit color and a contrast ratio of 1000 to 1. There are 24 LED lights surrounding the screen and these lights can be customized to function as indicators for various car functions. It connects to your PC by way of both an HDMI cable and a USB cable and comes with two carbon fiber attachment brackets for fixing the display to the most common wheelbases. The display then registers as an additional monitor for your PC and then you can map either SimLab's custom dash display or other dashes via SimHub. The display is available now and carries a price of 599 euro. For more information on pricing, specifications, and where to buy the Grid by SimLab Porsche 911 GT3 Cup display, click the link in the description. All right, guys, so jumping right into the action here in a subtle course of competizione, you are on board the GT3 car, not the Cup car, the GT3R by Porsche. And uh, this is actually the dash you would be seeing if you were uh, driving in game. And initial impressions, well, it's phenomenal. <laughs> phenomenal. Um, it's so bright, and the LEDs are really easy to see. You can probably tell, you see that flashing red on the left there? That's a car indicator, actually. It's kind of a cool feature, and you can enable or disable that. It's up to you. Um, but it is an indicator of where track rivals are uh, in your proximity when they're to the left or right in your blind spot, which is cool. Uh, but the dash display itself, fantastic. So I've got all the information, of course, I could need here. This one is styled after the GT3 car, not the cup car. Uh, the dash itself, the physical unit, is styled after the cup car. And we can take a look at that dash in a second here. There you go. So that's the cup car. So that is what you would be seeing. If you were in the cup car looking at the dash, this unit is, again, styled after the in-dash display of the cup car. And this is this dash is actually styled after that. So pretty cool. And then we can keep going through the dash display. You can see this is the Grid by SimLab dash. They, they created one that's not styled, as far as I'm aware, it's not styled after any specific car, but uh, has a huge amount of information here. So... On the left side, these two boxes here, those are primarily vehicle information. And um, down at the bottom, that bar is onboard systems like traction control and ABS. And then on the right-hand side of this dash, we have all your timing information, as well as air and track temperature. And then a uh, gear indicator, tachometer, whoops, and speed indicator, whoops. Ah, it was ugly. Stop pointing at the dash, Mike, and focus on your driving. So yeah, really comprehensive, and we can actually cycle through into the next, and as you can see here, then we have our relative timing and lap timing. And then um, on the left, we have a track map. So that track map is super handy, especially if you're doing endurance racing and looking to see where you'll come out of the pits in relation to the rest of the field. So you get a track map, and that's really cool. Then we can keep going. Um, for those who have followed my channel for a while, you've probably heard me talking about Lovely Dashboard. I think it's probably the best SimHub dash I have ever used, and uh, you can use that here. As you can see, it's not formatted to this quite unique aspect ratio. The screen is 1920 by 720, which is not a common aspect ratio, and uh, the Lovely Dashboard is made for 16 by 9, maybe 4 by 3. I'm, I'm guessing 16 by 9, and uh, so you have black unused space at the side which isn't ideal of course but thankfully grid by simlab does give you enough default dashes to uh, fill that unused area but i just wanted to put this on the on the screen to show you that if you have a favorite dash you can certainly use it with this porsche screen and a question you're probably asking yourself is well how much of your screen are you actually losing am i uh, giving up a good chunk of my viewable area on my screen and the answer is no, I'm not, thankfully. So I didn't change anything from default. This is how I usually run my in-car view because, of course, I want to be able to um, see my dash screen because I run typically without a, not always, uh, typically, uh, not always, uh, I run without a, uh, without the wheel being shown to give a bit more of a realistic view. Um, so this dash is actually just filling the... Uh, screen where the in-game dash would be anyway uh, so yeah I'm not losing any viewable area thankfully 
And uh, yeah, it looks good. It's slightly wider than the in-game dash, but not much. If you were to see it from the perspective of my, of my eyes, it's pretty much exactly how it would be um, if you're looking at the in-game dash. So very cool. And then uh, lovely dashboard has a bunch of other screens and really just, again, just a fantastic dash. But if we go back one more time to this Porsche 911 GT3 dash, you can see what you would be seeing in game. And so it probably begs the question, why would you even need this? Why can't you look at the dash? And I would say that uh, primarily what I'm getting out of this, and the reason I love this so much, is because it's it's the centerpiece of your rig in a physical sense. It's you know centered left to right and more or less centered front to back, and then it's slightly higher than center top to bottom. But it is sort of the center, the focal piece of your sim rig. So if you have a really nice sim rig and are looking for something to just, you know, uh, that your eyes are going to land on, it, this could be it. This is a really nice piece of gear to look at. It's It's got the cool factor. I can't, you know, make the case that this should be on everyone's upgrade path. As I mentioned at the start of the video, I think, you know, most people will get by on the in-game HUD and for those who the in-game HUD is not good enough, you can add a SIM hub overlay, and if that's still not good enough, uh, you can go with a, you know, a second screen or an old phone or tablet or uh, even buy a smaller unit of this. So I'm not going to make the case that this needs to be on everybody's upgrade path for their rig, but as sort of a centerpiece of your rig. If you're running, you know, some really nice gear, maybe you've got your 80-20 rig and you've got a nice wheel and you've got a nice set of pedals and, you know, a nice screen setup. You want something in the middle that's gonna catch all eyes and this is it. If you run currently, you know, a, a tablet on top of your monitor or something like that, well, this is much, much cleaner, much nicer to look at. And uh, it does free up your your viewable area as well. You're not cluttering your screen with a bunch of HUD overlays or anything like that. Um, I, again, I'm not trying to make the case that this is an absolutely necessary part of your sim racing life, but it is a very sort of aesthetically pleasing and um, really cool thing to add to your rig, I would say. So I've had this for about two weeks now and uh, had some uh, fun playing with it and it's just become a part of the experience now much like you know some other not frivolous but some other sort of more fun than necessity things like a motion simulator or triple screens or something like that um, once you have it up and running and you realize how awesome it is you don't want to do without it and that's basically where I'm at with this Porsche dash at this point it's been part of my rig for a couple of weeks now and I miss it if I take it down because the one thing I can't do with it is edit videos because I do lose a critical part of my uh, Premiere Pro view uh, so I have to take it off when I'm editing videos but when I'm driving I mean it's just beautiful it just you know sits nice and bright there and uh, gives me everything I need as far as on track information and again just very eye-catching very cool to look at and a nice centerpiece for your rig. So that's basically where I'm at with the uh, Grid by SimLab Porsche 911 GT3 Cup Dash and uh, overall just very strong opinions of it uh, in use. It's It's been fantastic for me and uh, I look to keep this on the rig as long as I possibly can because I think it's really cool. All right, so let's get back to the table. I'll give final thoughts and uh, give my good, neutral and bad. All right, so time for my final thoughts on the Porsche 911 GT3 Cup dash display from Grid by SimLab. And hopefully that's the last time I have to say that. It's a real mouthful. Um, but final thoughts, I'm going to go through the good, uh, the neutral, and the bad. Things I like, things I'm okay with, and things I don't like. And to start off with the good, uh, first thing is the display. It's, it's beautiful. It's nice and bright. It's clear. It's easy to read. The resolution is fantastic. At this price point, you would expect a good picture, and you get it with this dash. And the second thing is the LEDs. It's the screen that I like so much is surrounded by 24 LEDs and just like the screen they are very high quality very easy to follow uh, when it starts flashing and telling you to shift you see it very clearly you can also track your uh, tachometer um, or excuse me track your RPMs with the tachometer bar and then there's even special displays for cars beside you things like that so the LEDs uh, really look fantastic 
And the third thing is the ease of mounting an install. I thought this would be cumbersome to get mounted, but it went right onto my CSLDD without issue. Um, it fits a number of other wheelbases. Be sure if you're going to order this, be sure to talk to Grid by SimLab and just tell them the wheelbase you're using before you order it, just to make sure the proper bracket uh, is shipped with it. And to go with those brackets, we got cables and we got bolts in the box, which is really great. I like when manufacturers ship what you need. Uh, great to have those included bolts and the cable seemed of good quality. Uh, the HDMI cord was braided, which I like, and the HDMI and USB both met at 90 degrees uh, to connect into the bottom of the unit so you don't have a bunch of unsightly cables uh, coming straight down. And then we have the refresh rate. Refresh rate is 60 hertz. It's pretty much what you'd expect at this price point and um, never an issue with lag or anything. So uh, very good on that front. And finally, in the good category, and perhaps the most important and what sort of justifies this purchase overall, the pride of ownership. It feels really cool to own this. And I know that's an arbitrary statement and very subjective, um, but you look at it and it looks great. I mentioned this during the driving portion, but it's the centerpiece of your rig, left to right, front to back, and kind of top to bottom. It's very much the centerpiece. It's what catches your eyes. Your eyes are gonna be drawn to it. So you want something that looks good, and um, this does. Uh, like I said, I think it looks really cool. It looks professional. This, you know, automotive grade housing, it, uh, and the bright screen and the bright LEDs, it's really cool. It sits nicely in the rig and looks awesome. I think if you have a higher end rig and are looking for something in the middle that uh, doesn't look like it was sort of cobbled together, um, you know, using a, a cheap bracket and a, and a old tablet you had lying around, you want something looking more professional, uh, this is it. So again, pride of ownership, it looks really great and uh, feels cool to use. And moving now to the neutral. And the first thing I want to talk about, I mentioned the cables earlier, they meet at 90 degrees, so there's less awkward cabling coming out of the bottom. This is true, but there's also a lot of cables. You might say, well, that's the number of cables they needed. They needed a USB, they needed HDMI, they needed power. And I wouldn't argue with you, um, but it is a lot and they're different colors. The HDMI is gray, the other two are black. Um, it would have been nice if there was just a single form connector, or if not, at least if the cables could have somehow been married into a snake that you could plug in and just have one cable leading away. Again, this is gonna be the centerpiece and people are gonna be putting this on high-end rigs. It was, it'd be nice if the cabling was just a little bit cleaner. And then we'll talk about how this display connects to your computer. So obviously you plug it in HDMI. And for me, I have three other cables. I have three display port cables going to my three monitors. Uh, you add an HDMI, it shows it as a fourth screen and it makes it kind of awkward because sometimes the mouse goes onto that screen and you're looking across your triples, you're saying, where, where is my cursor? Uh, the cursor is on the fourth screen perhaps. And because it's a comparatively small screen, it's hard to see your cursor. So it does make the display settings a little bit more complicated. Um, it's not terrible. It's not like I couldn't use my computer anymore, but uh, it's just one thing to think about that it does complicate your uh, your display settings slightly. And then also in the neutral category, uh, the remote it comes with a little tiny remote. It's in the box right now. I should have brought it out. I apologize about that. Um, but it does come with a remote and it would be nice if there's some place to clip it, perhaps on the back of the unit um, somewhere. If it in included some clip that you could put on your uh, 8020 rig or something like that and just to sort of, oops, was I showing you my garage this whole time? Anyway, um, it would be nice if there's some sort of clip included for the remote control. It's a tiny little light remote control. It's gonna get lost. I guarantee you it's gonna get lost. It would have been nice if there was some place to clip it on the dash uh, or Velcro it even so that it doesn't immediately get lost or doesn't get lost over time, I guess, better phrase. And finally, in the neutral category, um, something I think that Grid by SimLab may have missed out on is the opportunity to mount this on top of a monitor. So it's possible that some people who buy Buy this are gonna say, you know what, I love the display, but I can't give up that much of my screen. It's kind of awkward. Or maybe right now you're currently rocking a 24 inch monitor single and you say, you know what, this is really cool. I've been looking for something similar. I'm gonna splurge, you're gonna get this but it's gonna take up so much of your screen that it's kind of awkward. So it would have been nice, and I put this in the neutral category because it's not something they've done wrong. It's just an idea for the future. It'd be nice if they shipped it with a clip to go on top of your monitor. I just thought of a reason why you wouldn't have that top of monitor clip because the cables come out the bottom, but uh, Grid by SimLab, you're smarter than me. Get on it, make it happen. 
maybe some you know dual expanding clips that could pinch down on the top of your monitor and then uh, you could put the bracket the included uh, carbon fiber brackets uh, that come with the dash uh, you could somehow screw it on there so it could sit on top of your center monitor uh, to be used that way as well that way it doesn't take up any of your screen space um, just for people who don't like it you know taking up their screen just an option and moving now to the bad category. These are, of course, things I don't necessarily like about the unit. And the first thing to talk about, oops, again, showing my garage, is the price. 600 euro. It's, it's, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. There's no sugar coating it. I think uh, Grid by Sim Labs set out to make sort of the definitive uh, dash for sim racing. And I think for the most part, they've done it. I, I've looked around. I haven't seen any that really blow this out of the water. There are a lot of options on the market now, um, but this certainly ranks among the best you can get from everything I can see. And it's priced accordingly. <laughs> it's very expensive. I understand that this is going to be worth most, uh, worth more than most of my viewers' wheelbase and wheel combined. 600 euro, not cheap. So the price, yeah, I think that's going to be the biggest sticking point for a lot of people. Uh, do they justify it? Yes, I think for the most part in terms of the overall quality of the unit and the quality of the display and the number of LEDs. Um, but... Uh, there's also the part of me that wonders how much did the Porsche license cost them? And also another part of me that says you're paying extra for something that's got kind of an awkward aspect ratio and, you know, designed to emulate a car that's very popular in sim racing, but it's not the only car we drive. So I wonder if they had taken the Porsche license out of it, if this could have dropped down sub 500 or at the $500 price point, still not cheap, but um, yeah, 600 is, is going to be a sticking point for a lot of people, I'm sure. And um, yeah, so I think, I think I'll put price in the bad category. It would be nice if there was a similar offering in terms of specs, but without the Porsche license and maybe simplified and uh, see if we can bring that price down a little bit. And also we have to talk about the fact that this is going to obstruct part of your screen. I mentioned during the drive that this is uh, not obstructing any part of my screen that I would normally use. Usually this dash, where this dash display sits, it's just blocking part of my dash. So it's all good. It's doing exactly what it's intended to do, but that's not going to be the case for everybody, especially if you're running a single monitor, 24, 27, maybe 32 inch. Uh, this is going to take a significant percentage of your screen. And that's going to be a problem for some people. It's just something to be aware of that this is a very large unit compared to most other offerings on the market. And uh, that's going to be a problem in terms of obstructing part of your screen for a lot of people, I think. And then it can't be a hardware review for me without me complaining about the absence of tools. So for some reason, even at $600 for a display, Grid by SimLab did not ship this with Allen keys. They shipped it with bolts. They shipped it with brackets. They shipped it with cables. They did not ship two cheap Allen keys. I looked it up. You can get Allen keys at my local hardware store for less than 50 cents a piece. And that's me going to a retailer. I'm sure if Grid by SimLab bought them, they would be probably 20 to 30 cents each, maybe cheaper. It'd be so easy for them to throw it in. And then people like me wouldn't have to go rummaging through their tool bag trying to look for the exact right Allen key. Please, not just Grid by SimLab, every hardware manufacturer, if you get the opportunity to ship tools, please ship tools. And then lastly, the aspect ratio is really awkward. Uh, 1920 by 720 is not a common display. And so most of your SIM hub dashes are not going to fit. So you end up with uh, this area right here being just blank. There's nothing going on. It's all happening in the center, which kind of brings into question, do you need a display this large? <laughs> it's going to be this aspect ratio. Um, could you get away with spending far less and getting like a five inch at the, you know, standard 16 by nine ratio? It really begs the question. And it goes back to the first negative, which is the price. It's like, what am I really getting for that extra money versus a standard dash? Uh, I mean, you're definitely getting the Porsche license and it's a great product, but at the same time, if they could make it cheaper and make it 16 by nine, uh, with, you know, the same display quality and the same automotive grade housing, would that be a better product? Potentially, but at the end of the day, they did set out to recreate the Porsche 911 GT3 Cup dash and they did it in this unit. So uh, aspect ratio is going to be awkward, but it's just something you have to live with if you buy the product. 
And that's it. So, um, my closing thoughts on the, uh, the grid by sim lab, uh, Porsche 911 GT three cup dash. I think I got that right. Um, is overall very positive. Um, I mentioned earlier pride of ownership. It feels really cool to have this in the rig. I love looking at it. It just sits in the center. It's nice and bright. You get all the data you could really want while you're racing. And uh, it's really cool. And then it takes, you know, a matter of 30 seconds to get it off if you're not uh, happy with having it on for whatever reason. But uh, overall, just a really excellent excellent product overall pride of ownership is huge i love this thing it's a fantastic product i recognize that this is probably on no one's upgrade path i'm not saying this is something that everyone is going to want for their particular rig this is a very specialized product this is kind of like the um what would you say? Ah, it's like what hypercars are to the car market. It appeals to such a tiny, tiny audience, but at the same time, it's really cool. And that's kind of how I feel about this. Again, uh, get your pedals first, get your wheelbase first, get your rig first, get your monitor first. And somewhere down the line, when you have all the other pieces in place, you might want to look at adding something like this. And if you are going for an external dash, I don't think you can do much better than this. This is comfortably better than my Moza racing dash. This is comfortably better than the tablet I used to have sitting on top of my monitor and uh, really just a fantastic product and um, narrow audience but for that audience they're going to be very very happy I love this dash so thank you again to Grid by SimLab for sending me this thank you for watching and we'll see you next time